the Giga Drive. Is this a gigantian leap forward in SSD technology or a gigantesque gigaflop? Today, we'll find out if the Giga Drive is really tech I want. Before we get into today's content, remember to like and subscribe because it helps keep us working and we've got a lot of mouths to feed. Today we are reviewing the Giga Drive, which at 2,800 megabytes per second just may be the fastest SSD in the world. At least those are the claims made by the Giga Drive team on their Indiegogo page. But the claims as bold as these, you're bound to have some skeptics like these guys or an infinitely scrollable Reddit thread dedicated to bringing them down. But we'll get to that later. And really when you think about it, the fact that this product is not coming from one of the heavy hitters of the hard drive world, like Samsung, Seagate, or Western Digital, it's pretty damn ballsy for such a small group never heard from before to be coming out of the gate punching and beating down the competitors in such a fiercely developing space. However, that's often the magic of crowdfunding. And these guys might actually pull it off. The Giga Drive team has made an affordable product using some of the newest and latest and hottest technologies available today. So we found a prototype and decided to put their claims to the test. As we test the Giga Drive and its creators with our extremely stringent and scientific and questionably accurate Tech I Want tests. We're an independent branch of the marketing agency TCF, and though they are covering some of our expenses, we choose all the products that we review, and they have no say in the results of our tests. In fact, we'd seen Giga Drive online, and then we found out that it was in the office. So we took it off of them, and we're gonna review it, and hopefully they'll be pretty pissed off by some of the things we say. Hopefully they'll be really pissed off. <laughs> That's the honesty level that we are striving for. That's great. We want to destroy this. Giga Drive. It obviously doesn't come in this kind of packaging. We put it in this ourselves. That's it. I mean, it's an SSD. There's not much to it. It has a nice little aluminum case with some glossy plastic finish, which we've heard this isn't the final product. I mean, it is a prototype. So yeah. It looks kind of like a space coffin. <laughs> yeah, it does, dude. Let me take a look at this. Uh, a space coffin for like a mini cockroach or something sent out into space. It is strange. I mean, you say it's just a normal SSD, but it it looks very, very Unique. cool, very yeah. sleek. In fact, when I first took a look at it, I thought it was more like an X-Acto knife or blade. Um, but yeah. It's definitely not like those square external SSDs that we're used to. It's a, it's a little bulkier, but at the same time, it's still very lightweight. The Giga Drive is positioning itself to meet the needs of remote workers, which according to studies are more and more on the rise. And as we have more digital nomads out there, their demand for exponentially increased portability, durability, and speed rises as well. The Giga Drive is promising to be the answer to all the prayers of videographers, gamers, video editors, and freelance multimedia travelers alike with the integration of Thunderbolt 4 connectivity, as well as being backwards compatible, the Giga Drive is positioned for those who demand a high-speed, durable SSD drive. So what makes Giga Drive the world's fastest external SSD? It's all about the hardware inside. Giga Drive claims to be using an internal Intel AGI M2 SSD with a capacity of either one, two, or four terabytes. Although we did a little bit of digging into this AGI, and it seems they only produce this Rapidity Pro SSD model up until two terabytes, which could mean that they are producing a four terabyte version exclusively for Giga Drive, or Giga Drive's going with another manufacturer for the four terabyte model that we're not aware of. This internal AGI SSD is capable of speeds of over 3000 megabytes per second internally, but because it's all within this external Thunderbolt 4 module, Giga Drive has leaned towards the safe side and is claiming slightly slower read-write speeds of 2,800 megabytes per second. Which, if it's true, that could still make it the fastest SSD on the market. But that's not all. I mean, besides all this tech stuff, we really dove deep into the list of specs and it'll make your head hurt. And we weren't alone. I mean, on Reddit, people are trying to bring this down. CHX says, where the fuck would they get a JHL 8440 chip? I love CHX's passion though. Yeah. 
Where, where the fuck would they get a JHL 8400 chip when every single TB4 hub utilizing it is sold out until May at least? Or Nada de Fabi. Nada de Fabi? Says, also four months between the campaign and supposed shipping with a test run in between. Super shady. Right. While Audi Steiner basically says it's almost impossible to find a Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 SSG drive for under $100. And she wants to know, quote, how can they be selling the Giga Drive for just 153 USD? But my favorite is Tony Lung, who in beautifully diligent alpha nerd style put up a super detailed page called How to Make Scam SSD Project featuring Giga Drive, in which he demands an independent test of the manufacturer's claims. Sweet. What a wonderful segue into our Tech I Want test time. Tony, this one is for you. Giga Drive claims a few big things. It says it's the fastest SSD in the world, that you can game from it without lag, that it doesn't heat up above 40 degrees Celsius, and that it's super durable, dust and waterproof. We've tested everything the campaigners claim, except the live filming from a camera, as we didn't have a USB-C compatible camera to try it out with. The first is a Blackmagic speed test. On a 2019 MacBook, we reached a reading speed of about 2,700 megabytes per second, which is quite impressive. Considering the Samsung and Le Cie competition, which in independent tests reach around 2,600 megabytes per second, the Giga Drive is the closest to living up to the claim of 2,800 megabytes per second. With some 18 gigabytes of 4K footage that we shot earlier with our cameras, we wanted to test the file transfer speeds. So we transferred an 18 gigabyte file on a 2020 MacBook, and it took just 11 seconds from the Giga Drive to the Mac. And in reverse, it took an astonishing eight seconds from Mac to Giga Drive. Eight seconds for 18 gigabytes. Speed claims aside, it's insane that transfers in general are so fast. I still remember waiting on floppy transfers, and those things were just over one megabyte. It's important to highlight that the computer has a big say in transfer speed. On a 2018 Mac, this same transfer took 18 seconds to upload. A little bit slower, but still fast. Claim one, passed. We took that same 18 gigabytes of footage to the editing room to understand if it will be possible to manipulate that 4K footage from the Giga Drive on our editing suites. And much to our amazement, it worked. While editing the footage directly from the Giga Drive on our i7 PC with a 1060 Ti video card, there was no slowdown of performance. Playback and rendering speeds were the same as what would be expected when playing the footage as if it were stored natively on the computer. There were no problems playing video games off of the Giga Drive, running at the standard 60 frames per second. We even got into higher performance numbers, which still played smoothly. Claim two, passed. After 30 minutes, the Giga Drive was about 46 Celsius, which is above their promise of 40 degrees Celsius. So we consider that a slight fail. Consistent cooling increases the lifespan of most products as it prevents the hardware from getting damaged and yet there are no fans inside the Giga Drive. It just relies on its aluminum heatsink case design to dissipate heat faster than it generates it. Kind of like a dog with its tongue out on a hot summer's day. Claim three, failed. And lastly, we wanted to test the durability. Giga Drive has been awarded an IP67 score. This means it's 100% dust proof, surviving a vacuum test for eight hours with no dust making it inside. And more interestingly and useful to you, it can survive being submersed in water for 30 minutes or getting dropped into the bathtub if that's your jam. They also claim it to be drop proof from heights of up to three meters. And just to mimic what might happen in my real world Butterfingers, I ended up dropping the Giga Drive from three meters four times just to get the perfect shot for you guys. We wanted to then hold it underwater, but the shell had loosened from all the drops so we figured we'd cancel that test just in case so we could keep running our other tests. Apple Insider has reviewed the product as well and confirms that it is fully waterproof. So for claim four, at least for our prototype, this is another pass. With all these amazing results, you'd think that anyone and everyone would be proudly screaming from the rooftop. But like the Loch Ness Monster, the Easter Bunny, and our subscribing viewers, this team is nowhere to be found. Doing some research on LinkedIn, 
it seems that they have no social profiles online. And after reverse image searches on their pictures, nothing came up. This either means that the pictures were taken specifically for the campaign, which is often the case, or that the pictures are not real and they don't have any previous campaigns or reputation. So in conclusion, the Giga Drive seems to do almost everything the established companies do, but slightly better, and for half the price at $153. Another way to think about it is that it's about 15 cents per gigabyte when the competition comes in around 20. We understand that we had a prototype in the studio today, but usually the prototypes we receive are worse than the final product, not better. Also, our expert team behind the scenes gave the Giga Drive an innovation score of six out of 10 because it doesn't revolutionize the world of SSDs, while unfortunately a reliability score of only 10 out of 30, because the product they've given us lives up to our expectations, passed the test, and looks great. But the mysterious team section is the one that drags it down. I wonder about that innovation score though. Like what would it take to get a 10 out of 10? I mean, this is, it's an SSD. What do you need to do to be? I feel like it would need racing stripes or be made out of titanium or have magnets inside of it. Or be like another acronym. It's not HDD, SSD, it's the next one. X, F, C. That's yeah. Like ice cream machine. Yeah, yeah. So you can find the link to our detailed written review below. And remember, backing is not buying. Backing is investing in the future. There's always risks in crowdfunding and there can be a cost. However, we love it. Some of the world's most innovative products have launched through crowdfunding. And besides contributing to making someone's dream come true, you also get to be the first to back a truly great product. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more of these ugly mugs. And remember the Tech I Want newsletter for more in-depth innovation reviews by struggling English majors. Which you can find linked below in the description. Yeah, and until next time, we're out.